All right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come to. of the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in a big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes and Holly Holm and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if, as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. And there she is, folks. Rose Namajunas has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this Women's Bantamweight Championship fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Meatball Molly McCann. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Fog Rose Narayunas! Herb Dean, our referee Great for this fight. one. Great. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Ooh, what a punch. Right hand lands flush. Oh, nice jab there by Molly McCann. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, so Thug Rose Donna Yunus mixing it up pretty well here in the early going with her kicks and, of course, that patented jab as well. Yeah, she pops that jab. She's so fast. And you can hear her corner telling her, Rose, stay on the jab, stay on the jab. She's so good at maintaining distance, and she's very tall for the weight class. Rose Nami Yunus has now figured out how to use her length to her advantage inside the octagon. Oh, there's a big overhand. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just misses there with the left. Oh, the, there, the, the blow of this fight thus far. 
Yeah, man, she landed a massive hook, and it has her opponent hurt bad. While her striking has been great tonight, rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but you gotta think there's a little bit of disappointment that she wasn't able to get the finish. She should be disappointed that she didn't finish the fight. This would look like it was over. If she gets this opportunity again, she should go all out to try to finish the fight. While the hook has been her primary weapon of choice tonight, let's see if she sets it up again here. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Nama Yus. And there it is, the fighter lands yet another hook. Both fighters throwing heat now. by McCain. Trying to kick the leg out. While she continues to land to the body, attacking those organs right. Not a lot of protection there, and you're seeing some visible damage now on the other side. Visible damage. She's done a tremendous job understanding and recognizing where the weakness was. And she has exploited that, and she's going to continue as she tries to get her hand raised. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, round two. All right, so as this round gets underway, let's see if the high-level action continues. Both women had their moments in that previous round. Now we'll see if there's more aggression, and we'll see if one fighter can really take control. The kick is there to the body. And blocks the shot there. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. She's wobbling now. She's hurt very bad. She's on skates. She has to get that Oh, my goodness. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Meatball! All right, so an incredible result in this sold-out venue tonight. We have a new UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She is just spectacular.